Atlanta Regional Airport, Falcon Field. Automated weather observation, 1333, Zulu. Wind missing. Visibility missing. Sky condition missing. Already. So everything is missing. Wind missing. Visibility missing. Well, turned out to be a really good layover. A little quick trip to Falcon Field, back to where I used to flight instruct. We'll talk more when we get in the air, but now we're going to taxi out. Everybody's using 3 1 for departure. The same runway we landed on. So, here we go. On our way to Zephyr Hills to make old one Bravo Charlie look pretty. Traffic down at star 629er Delta Sierra, two and a half mile departure lag runway 31. We'll be departing to the southwest, climb into 3500 Falcon traffic. Falcon traffic down in 141 Bravo Bravo, turning base for 31 Falcon Solo Suit Falcon traffic. We'll wait on the student pilot and then we'll get on out of here. Falcon field traffic, twin Cessna 771 Bravo, Charlie's position to hold 31 Falcon. Final's clear, base is clear. Now we just need the runway to be clear. Our traffic, Diamond Star 673 Alpha Mike is 11 miles to the southwest at 3,500. Direct to Nogi for a full procedure. Uh, RNAV for 3 1, talking traffic. Talking traffic, Diamond 141 Bravo Bravo, clear of 3 1 via Delta, taxi back to 3 1, talking full of suit, talking traffic. Talking traffic, Twin Cessna 771 Bravo, Charlie's departing 3 1, be a left turn out to the southeast, Falcon. Alright. Twin Star 987 Dingo Sierra, 1700, everything's looking good. Release the brakes. Full power, make them full power, fuel flows look good, airspeed's alive, 70, 80, Stop the traffic down to start, 629 or Sierra, 3 miles rotate. southwest of the field, 3,600, uh, departing to the south, stop the traffic. Tap the bricks, here coming up. Traffic, twin star, left down one, three one, Falcon. Blue line. Got dampers on. Taking a left turn. Bumps are off. We're up above pattern altitude, turning on course. Climbing up to 5,900. Atlanta approach, twin Cessna 771, Bravo, Charlie Alpha Falcon filled with a request. Cessna 771, Bravo, Charlie Atlanta approach. Yep, uh, we're climbing through uh, 2,700 now, going to Zephyr Hills, Florida, looking for flight following. We'll eventually go to 7,500. Just give me that three-letter identifier and are you a 310? We're Cessna 310 and going to Zulu Papa Hotel. We're 771 Bravo Charlie, Cat, Squawk 3124 in Ident. 3124 Ident, 1 Bravo Charlie. 
Seven one, seven seven one Bravo Charlie radar contact about five south of Falcon Field. The Atlanta altimeter three zero three zero. Telling you leaving uh, three thousand eight hundred now. Maintain VFR. One Bravo Charlie, that is all correct, and we'll maintain VFR. If I clip the Bravo, climb to seventy five hundred. Is that all right? You want me to stay below it? One Bravo Charlie, clear to the Bravo air space. You climb up to seventy five. One Bravo Charlie, thank you, sir. Army zero one zero five one, contact the line of sensor on one three three point one. Good day. Oh. Okay, one three one three. three the Bravo, y'all. Army zero five one. Have a good day, sir. Might just clip it at Skosh. Level up and cruise. We got two hundred knots. Been a great. Uh oh. We lost our. We lost our production spot. There we go. Alrighty, so let's get the frequency set up. So at Zephyr Hills, the AWOS is there. We'll switch that over. And then for Zephyr Hills, Unicom is that. We'll switch that over. And we're good now. Got Atlanta in there. We can zoom this out just a skoosh. Now we're all set up. Just wait. Got an hour and a half to Zephyr Hills. So I mentioned before, broke the flight up just because they weren't going to be open. It was going to be late when I got down to Zephyr Hills, going down to Hawk Aircraft Painting. And decided, well, I can land in Falcon. I was looking at different places to land that would be easy in and out. And used to flight instruct and aerial map and stuff out of Falcon Field. So I landed down there, got the plane squared away. The FBO was, people were super nice. Um, several of the people watched the channel. And they took me on a golf cart, and I went to go to this other big box hanger of a gentleman named Bill, who used to really mentor young people coming up. He flew for Making Delta Airlines. Connection 901 is 7,000, 10 south of Vienna. Connections 901, well, Bill approach controls, I've been in the weather for had Delta sold the hangar. Your approach request will be the make it on altimeter 3031. He moved up to Tacoa, Georgia. Uh, uh, we do have the AWOS and the NODEMS request an ILS runway 2. The hangar doors were open, there was people all around there. I went to go, you know, find out if Bill was still around at the time. They told me he'd sold it. A bunch of super nice people, a couple of SkyWest pilots, some Delta mechanics. Great group of guys. Thanks for all your guys' hospitality. Took me out to dinner, gave me a ride over to the hotel. We hung and out at the hangar for a while. Join the transition off of the NS for the ILS. Somebody did a very hot challenge. I can't remember the name of it. It's like the Devil's Bed or something. Hopefully all that footage turns out, and I can play that right here for you guys to see. We'd like to pick up our clearance to stand. It's pretty funny. Connection 901, Roger. Park completion of the approach. Enter controlled airspace, heading 120, maintain 3000 and return this frequency. Hey, this is the lady that worked us when me and Jamie left Auburn. Enter controlled airspace 120, we went down to three, to Tampa. Thank you, 901. Over the top of Val Dosta. Next to Moody Air Force Base. Which, which is best. This is the office view today, y'all. Very, very pretty. Very smooth. Just an occasional bump here and there. Coming up on the Georgia-Florida line. That airport right down there, it turns out on the camera. That's Valdosta, Georgia. Ain't no mountains and hills around here. And Moody Air Force Base is hard to see, but it's just past the left wing. So, still doing 109 to 4 knots. 
Coming up on the state line. It's going to be really sad coming up when we see the coast. And we don't get to go to it. Wah, wah. One Bravo Charlie, contact Jack Center 125.37. Have a good day. 2537, one Bravo Charlie. We'll see you. Nice here, Charlie. Being your descent. Central Center descent. Jacksonville Center, twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie is with you 7,500. 771 Bravo Charlie Jack Center, Roger. The uh, Lake City Altimeter 3028. 3028, 1BC. Alrighty. 6 Bravo Mike, 7 8 7 2 o'clock, 500 feet above us. 2 o'clock, 3 miles. Oh, tell you. DTS 711, thank you. Active traffic. We're about 70 miles away from. Upper Hills. We're just coming up to Beam Ocala, Florida now. And you can see the beautiful Gulf of Mexico. We're right at Beam Cedar Key right now. And it's time to start our descent. Upper Hills pattern altitude is 1100 feet. Foot collected. Uh, vertical speed down to 300 feet per minute. Altitude alerter down to 700 feet. Pattern altitude. And we're 203 knots as we start our 300 foot per minute descent. Contact Tampa 135.5. 35.5, one Bravo Charlie, good day. One, one Quebec, contact Tampa 135.5. Tampa approach Twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie is with you descending out of 4,200 for Zephyr Hills with the weather. November 83310, swap 0121. 0121, November 83310, thank you. November 771, Bravo Charlie, Tampa. To send your discretion, Tampa Altimeter 3024. 3024, 1 Bravo Charlie. Swing Cessna, 1 Bravo Charlie, rudder service terminated, squawk 1200, frequency change is approved. 1 Bravo Charlie, squawk 1200, good day. Good day. Zephyr Hills traffic, Twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie is 13 miles to the northwest, inbound for landing, runway 5, Zephyr Hills. Zephyr Hills traffic, Cessna 8158, Fox Truck, 7 miles west, inbound for landing. Zephyr Hills traffic, Twin Cessna 1, Bravo Charlie is entering a left downwind runway 5, Zephyr Hills. Land traffic, Sky Hot 435 on the South Point, approved runway 5. And the Grease of Flaps coming in. Down one, and gear coming down. All right, we got gas, fuel's on the mains, fuel pumps are on low. Undercarriage, three in the green. Mixtures and props are all set. 
we are good to go. Zephyr Hills traffic, twin Cessna 771 Bravo Charlie's left base, runway 5 Zephyr Hills. Zephyr Hills traffic, twin Cessna 771 Bravo Charlie is turning final for runway 5 Zephyr Hills. Alrighty, we're on speed, we're on glide path, we're on final. Not the worst. to Zephyr Hills, Florida, where I actually need to open the window. 70 degrees here. Feels good. The Zephyr Hills traffic, twin Cessna, one Bravo Charlie is clear of runway five at Zephyr Hills. Welcome to Zephyr Hills, Florida. Home of Hawk Aircraft Painting. One Bravo Charlie's new home for a little bit. They're gonna take good care of her and she's gonna come back looking amazing. I'm so excited about this. We've had a lot of good upgrades, believe me, and you guys know. But this was the one that makes it look like it's new, you know? Alrighty, I can't wait to show you guys some of the process and the after of one Bravo Charlie's paint rehab. Until next time, see you guys soon. some of the work they've done some of these airplanes and some of the planes that are in process right now here's a beautiful barren that they painted looks awesome here's some planes going getting ready to be painted this one's stripped
this 414 is going to be painted. Some planes in different phases. This one details got all the windows removed. It's all stripped out. Flight control surfaces, they'll remove all of those. Balance them and weigh them. This is where they strip it when they're stripping the planes.